Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy, and today we're showing you how to get glyphs and symbols for level 3 for Journey. It's epic. Alright, we got some fast forward going on here to save you guys some time because there is a lot of walking. Just a hunch, I think we're going up to that mountain. Alright, right out of the gate, we're going to come over here, activate this little dude. Because these guys will start kind of showing you generally where you want to go. They don't always steer you to everything you need, but they're always a good idea. If you see some magic carpets, follow them like it's Aladdin and you're trying to get Princess Jasmine. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Gunslinger29. Thanks for popping up on my video. Alright, so we're hustling over. In the distance, you can see these ruins. This one took a while to find everything just for the fact that you were literally in the middle of Sahara La Cara Desert and... Things are a little bit tougher to find when you have to climb to a dune and find nothing and then go into a trough and come up and find something else. So this took a few run-throughs to get it looking pretty good. Alright, back down to normal speed. You're going to see this little scarf guy highlighting this thing saying, Hey man, bump it with the yell button. And you say, alright. Go Ninja Blender, go! Yay! Alright, with your scarf all charged up. You're gonna come and land and get this thing. If you uh, hit the super yell by holding circle and you get one of those little magic carp on, carpet or pillows with streamers behind it, it'll get you going forward. A little surfing. It's pretty much we're aiming at the mountain right now. That's our goal. There's this big dune. We're gonna come over to the left. We're gonna snag a trophy mid run, saving you all some time. Gotta add some butter, y'all. Boom, it's this little flower. Yell at it a few times. Say, hey, what's wrong with you, flower? Why are you growing in the middle of the desert? Do you not like green people or friends? Is brown your favorite color? Are you depressed or emo? Later, flower. Moving on my life. All right, so we're gonna get up on this big ridge, back in some fast forward motion. In this story called Journey. From this ridge we're gonna travel down to this and it is going to be that's right a glyph all right so at this glyph again we're gonna kind of steer towards the mountain get on Mount Sandman's Ridge Dun, 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 dun. Keep on going forward. And we end up in this broken down uh, rook of a castle. Oh my, it's a shooting star. I should make a wish. I wish for a snowboard for all this sand. Oh, just a symbol. But that's cool. That's cool. We'll take it. Knocking them out. All right, so from inside the broken rook, we're gonna come over onto Devil's Backbone. I don't know if that's the real name of it, but if you've ever been in the or outdoorsy, they always seem to name stuff to as much of a treachery as they can. Devil's Backbone, Lucifer's Collarbone, Piney Ridge Mountain. So we're going to ride this ridge over there on the left. You can see this thing coming into view, and I'm like, yay! And is it just me when you like hold the super yell? It's like he's pooping. A little surfing. These guys are saying, hey, free my buddy. I'm like, well, I got you, homies. I got you. Ottoman pillows with scarves behind them. Ooh. Alright, so we're gonna get some scarf and a little bit of jumpage right here. You're gonna refresh on your scarf or your Pop Tart tickets. So I'm starting to think they are, because we know the world runs on Pop Tarts. At least gamers do. Pop down here and get the symbol. Yes, yes. Alright, on top of this building, you're looking at the mountain, you're gonna look to the left. See that peak of a berm, the Dune Rooney? We're heading towards that. So pretty much is quite the travel. And if you're saying, hey guys, speed up. 
It's harder than you think. Traveling up a sand hill, no fun. But surfing down, it is fun. Whee! Here it is. Another glyph. We shall. I'm going to go free his buddy over here. Your people are free! Maybe this is where fax machines came from. Who knows? Those kind of look like spaceships from Mass Effect 3. Another shooting star up there. So what's kind of unique about this game, I didn't realize it till halfway through, is that when you're playing it, these random characters in here are real people. I thought they were NPC players, but they are actual uh, people playing with you, so it's kind of fun. So on my first playthrough, I just kind of ignored them and ran into them to charge up. I didn't realize that they were uh, actual uh, people with souls. So um, if you see one of these guys, stick with them, because one of the trophies is to go through majority of the game with the same person. So communicate with each other with little taps. I'll show you uh, how far you actually have to go with that in another video I'll be posting. But uh, yeah, I just ignore this guy. I'm like, you're on your own, bud. You're on your own. I surf on down to this little pier right here. Woo. Nice little dismount. I wish I had one of these guys in my house. He'd pick up all the dust. It would be awesome. Alright. I can't get out. These guys are like, help me. I'm like, I got you, little buddy. Crossing this bridge, we're almost done here. We got Uno more symbols. Or as it say here in the land of journey. Alright. It's the same spot I just fell off, so I want to cut out the uh, bad footage right up on your magic carpet friend. Come over here to the left. There it is, there it is. And that'll do it for level three. So thank you guys for choosing Happy Thumbs Gaming. Stay tuned for more Journey videos. Subscribe, vote, and tell your friends if you like what we're doing here, because we're doing it for you guys. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And as always, happy hunting, gamers.